I'd like to call my next witness to the stand. Virgil. <laughs> Very well. You never usually have anything helpful to add anyway. Okay. Ask me your questions. You are in control of Thomas's fears, are you not? Oh my god. We all know each other. Who are these clarifications for? Cut to the chase! Is it true that you once said that? Weddings are outdated over expensive pageantry. Yeah, well, I also once swore to Thomas that the drink he left alone in the other room for 10 seconds was definitely poisoned, and if he drank it, he would die. I'm not exactly a beacon of truth. So you've changed your mind then? Next question. <laughs> Very well. As Thomas's anxiety, do you have any relevant information about his norepinephrine levels in regards to these conflicting commitments? I think it's ridiculous that anyone is entertaining any of this. Guys, he's a liar. You literally know him as deceit. Glass houses, Virgil. You yourself said you are not a beacon of truth. Yeah, because I'm wrong a lot. Oh, so you've never been reluctant to share anything with the group then? Don't. What? I just meant your name. Don't. Maybe that's why it's so easy for you to recognize me for what I am. Like I said before, it takes a liar to know a liar. The objection! He's weaseling the witness! The correct term is badgering. Order! Order in the court! No, this has to stop now. Ignoring the things that I have to say. You leave me behind, just sit and wait the way you've always done.